Hello friends, welcome. Let's look at this example as part of equation of straight lines and the straight line is in, in the form of double intercept or intercept form. Let's look at this problem and try to solve it together. Find the equation of the line passing through the point 2 comma 2 and cutting off intercepts on the axis whose sum is time. Find the equation of the line passing through the point 2 comma 2 so let us say where we will have 2 comma 2 somewhere ok let us say that this is 2 comma 2 we are just approximating that this is 2 comma 2 ok and cutting off intercepts on the x axis whose sum is axis means both x and y you know that intercept on x axis is a and intercept on y axis is b so we know that a plus b equal to 9 so this is the information we have we have been given. Now we have to find out the straight line. Now once I see the intercepts, I will prefer to use the intercept or double intercept form. What is the form? The form is x by a plus y by b equal to 1. This is the equation of the straight line which is having a as the x intercept and b as the y intercept. We will see at the end of this session how you got this also. That takes only couple of minutes. Okay, right. Now what we know? We know a plus b equal to 9. So can I write and x by a plus y by b? I can write b as 9 minus a because we know a plus b equal to 9. That is equal to 1. Now what is the idea? The idea is to find out the equation of the straight line. To find out the equation of the straight line, you should know A and B. To know A and B, we have two relation, two point inputs given to us. One, the intercepts add up to 9. And the second thing, the straight line passes through the point 2, comma 2. Okay? Right. Next, the straight line also passes through the point 2, comma 2. So what this tells me? This tells me that x is 2 and y is also 2. So 2 by a plus 2 by 9 minus a equal to 1. Let me repeat that again. x by a plus y by b equal to 1 is the equation. We have been given that the axis intercepts the sum is 9. That means if one is a, another one is 9 minus a. So that a plus b equal to 9 or b equal to 9 minus a. Now we have been also told that the equation of the line is passing through the point 2 comma 2. So let's substitute 2 comma 2. Now you see that this is pretty simple. You ha you are going to get a quadratic equation for which you have to solve for a. Once you know a value, you can substitute in this equation. Let us say equation number 1 and you will get your answer. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now this is not equation of straight line anymore. This is now simple quadratic equation. Okay. Now I will multiply with... Okay. Let me take 2 out and say 2 into 1 by a plus 1 by 9 minus a equal to 1 that gives me 2 into if you take LCM as a into 9 minus a a will give you 9 minus a and if you divide by 9 minus a that will give you a and this is equal to 1 so let's go to the next line so a a cancels out i will have 18 divided by a into 9 minus a equal to 1 or can i say that a into 9 minus a equal to 18 or i can say 9 a minus a square minus 18 equal to 0 or i can say a square minus 9a plus 18 equal to 0. Now, you know how to do this? It is a quadratic equation. You can use splitting the middle terms. Your sum should be minus 9. Sum is minus 9. Sum is minus 9 and the product is nothing but equal to 18. So, product should be positive. Sum should be negative. That means both of them should be negative and uh, which two numbers you add to get 9 and multiply you will get 18 that is nothing but minus 6 and minus 3 
so I can go ahead again back and write this as a square minus 6a minus 3a plus 18 equal to 0 that is nothing but equal to a into a minus 6 minus 3 into a minus 6 equal to 0 or a minus 3 into a minus 6 equal to 0 now what is the meaning of that either a equal to 3 or a equal to 6 therefore a equal to 3 or a equal to 6 now let's go back and substitute the values of a equal to 3 or a equal to 6 in our equation 1 where is our equation 1 our equation 1 is here x by a plus y by 9 minus a equal to 1. So, I will write down here in a different color x by a plus y by 9 minus a equal to 1. So, let us take first a equal to 6 that is the first case first scenario I will have x by 6 plus y by 3 equal to 1. So, if you multiply by 6 throughout will give you x plus 2y minus 6 equal to 0. So, that is one solution. Second solution is if you take a equal to 3 because we got two values for a one, and one is 6 and another is 3. So, this will become x by 3 plus y by 6 equal to 1. If you multiply by 6 throughout that will give you 2x plus y minus 6 equal to 0. Now, you, you can look at this. These two equations, you can substitute 2, 2 and see they satisfy both of them. And also, you just try to get them into the x by a plus y by b form. You will see that the sum of their intercepts is nothing but equal to 9. So, that is about a problem which is a little bit interesting. Now, what we have done? We have been given to find out the equation of the line which is passing through a point and intercepts on the axis whose sum is 9. We have to write it in the form of x by a plus y by b equal to 1 because we are talking about the intercepts. So, intercepts form we are leveraging. It does not mean you cannot do it in other way, but this is an easy way. Depends upon the problem you have to leverage the which equation of the which form of the equation you want to use there. Okay, so x by a plus y by b equal to 1, b equal to 9 minus a and it is passing through 2, 2. So, instead of x and y, I can put 2 comma 2, solve for a, you will get a equal to 6 or a equal to 3. Now, go back to your equation 1, x by a plus y by 9 minus a equal to 1, substitute value of a as 6 or 3, you will be getting two equations which satisfy both the condition that they are passing through 2 comma 2 and also they are cutting up intercepts on x axis whose sum is 9. Now, let us take couple of minutes and see understand how you got this equation x by a plus y by b equal to 1. Okay. So, we want to know how we got this x by a plus y by b equal to 1. Very simple. Now, you know that a comma b are intercepts. This equation of the form, form of the equation is called as intercepts form or double intercept form because you have been given both x intercept and y intercept. Now, you know that if the intercept is a, the point is nothing but a comma 0 because on the y coordinate is 0 when you have when you are on the x axis. Similarly, here you can see that the coordinates are 0 comma b. Now, this is pretty straightforward. You have two points and you can find out the slope. So, you can use two point form or I prefer to just equate the slope. So, I will say a comma 0. So, the whole straight lines is nothing but equating the slope. There is nothing else. a comma 0, 0 comma b and a generic point x comma y. So, let us say I will I will equate the slope here and I will say y by minus b divided by x minus 0 that is a slope nothing but equal to b minus 0 by 0 minus a that is nothing but equal to y minus b equal to minus b by a into x. So, can I say a y minus a b equal to minus b x or I can say b x plus a y equal to a b. Now, you divide this by a b throughout 
divided by a b will give you x by a plus y by b equal to 1. So you can do this also by taking two point form where you have points are a comma 0, 0 comma b. You can say y minus y1 equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1. You can do that way too. But I prefer just to equate the slopes because the straight line is the same. So the slopes should be same. You have three points. I can take any two points and equate it to the third point. Now what is our point here? x comma y. Generic point. What we are talking about. So the slope should be equal to slope of you found out by using two points should be equal to the other. That's how you can find out that x by a plus y by b equal to 1. So let us solve some more interesting examples as part of double intercept form. See you again in the next session. Thanks again.